this is our first walk in Rome from our hotel, Napoleon. It's a church that's on Esquiline Hill. It's a fifth century church, but it's been redone numerous times. It has fifth century mosaics in it. And there were actually a lot of guards with machine guns outside it showing how valuable it is. I also had quite a few visitors. Um, this is a crypt with underneath there was the splinter from the manger, they say. And there's lots of scrumptious decorations, as you can see in this church. If you're walking that way, it's certainly worth a look. It's dedicated to the Virgin Mary. The 17th century plaza where the Trevi Fountain is. The fountain was restored in 2015. You toss a coin into the water and ensure that you'll return to Rome. They have about 3,000 euros tossed each day. Yes, I did. Things are coming back again. That's <laughs> right. We did it. The fountain was built in 1700. Mm -hmm. And Neptune was the main guy. Celebrate the reopening of the aqueducts. Yes, it celebrated Rome getting clean water from the aqueducts being reopened. This is the Panthenon, built in 27 BC modified in the 2nd century A.D. and consecrated as a Christian church in A.D. 608. And outside, it became a church, but it was the original building was to honor the unknown God. And the basilica, or the dome, was a model for many others. This is the Piazza Navano. It was a 15th century marketplace. It has several famous fountains, the Fountain of the Four Rivers by Renetti. And they also have um, another fountain called the Fianto del Moro. It's at the southern end of the square. And it's where you have a dolphin. And at the northern end, they have Fonto de Neptune. Uh, that takes nothing. It's a big street market and hangout place. <laughs> this is a quite famous square. <laughs> and it's pretty near the Italian Senate. Up is a big covered square. And 
has a lot of pepper on it. The Four River is fountain down there. Walking down the Victor Emmanuel big boulevard and we see this little park about 20 feet below street level. Obviously they were digging up something and they found these ruins. So here they are. We headed back to the hotel and walked through the Capitine area where the museums are of ancient artifacts. It's up above the hill above the Roman Forum, which we explore in depth later. So this is just an outside look at the Capitine Museum and the statues there, which are also very ancient and a view from the hillside. You can just see this walking from the street. You don't have to pay admission, but that's the whole ancient Roman forum there below you, as well as the more modern buildings, the church. It's a pretty fascinating place to go explore. Okay, this is the oldest piece of material as far as we know in Rome. It's from Egypt. There's inscriptions all over it. Well, after going for an overview of the Roman Forum, we made our way back to our Hotel Napoleon, which was a lovely hotel, and actually ate there. They had a great little dining room.